are PCs becoming boring? That's what I have for the thumbnail. Let's see. The answer is no. All right, you guys can stop watching now. Out of all seriousness, I've been seeing a ton of videos that are just like these. That behavior, uh, and now we can produce our one sentence review, which is one two three percent better for the 4080 Super. So thank you everyone for watching, and uh, go to the store to support us. See ya. Granted, most of them are about GPUs instead of computers in general, but it's been a mixture of disappointing and frustrating business practices, and I can assure you, if you think it's all boring, all PC stuff is boring now, it might actually just be you. It's possible you're growing or you possibly have soaked up so much useful knowledge about this particular interest that it's starting to lose fire. And there's really nothing wrong with that. In fact, that actually happened to me a couple years ago before I started this channel after 10 years of doing this, actually more than 10 years, but roughly about 10 years of selling PCs and being super dedicated to the hardware scene. So one of the reasons I actually started this channel in the first place was because I was becoming a bit jaded and I had some friends tell me, hey man, you should, you should probably start a channel. It's, you know, you're really late to the game and you've been selling PC hardware since what, 2012? And, and honestly, that was kind of the dilemma as every day went on, I just pushed the channel off more and more and my interest just got less and less. It wasn't until I just decided of like last year around Christmas time to just upload a video randomly and I had a lot of interactions that I enjoyed and that was where I rediscovered or like the flame was reignited in the whole like PC selling, PC flipping, uh, hardware news and rumors. That's where everything actually came back out for me and I guess what I'm getting at here is that all the people who wanted to talk about it and had this like real good energy about the PC hardware and industry um, were a lot of them were newcomers or people who have been doing it a lot longer than somebody like myself who is a 33 year old millennial and those guys also you know they're standing strong they've been doing it for 30 plus years and they're super into it and like those are also the best people to talk to half the time so you have newer people who just got into it a year or two a couple years goes by and then you have people who have been into it for a long time and like everyone in between that that's just like kind of sour about the situation i understand man i totally understand the pandemic situation i understand that the the prices are crap and how it just doesn't feel the same way as it used to feel especially some of you guys shout out to you like Haswell, Sandy Bridge era guys, because that's where I really got into it myself. And I feel like that's where it really took off on YouTube. That was like, to me, the golden age because PCs were just much faster than the consoles. It was just a unique age. Uh, hardware was changing rapidly. You know, RGB had just kind of started to trickle out. Um, it was just an interesting market. The case market was very interesting. They were putting tempered glass on things randomly. Uh, there was like uh, just all these new kind of unique inventions. Nowadays, it feels like everyone's kind of just kind of copying each other. And um, but that's the jaded side of me talking. A newcomer who comes into this and has all these selections, insane selection amounts of parts. You know, you've got everything from fucking RGB cables to you know lcds on fans to all these things that if i had had that in 2015 or 2014 or even when i first started i would have been like mind blown as to how many options there are to build a computer and for a lot of people and i have to remember this myself as i get a lot of computers and parts a lot of people build one computer and run that thing for five years and that's what they use and so having all these options and all these unique parts that are not boring this is wrapping back around the pc is not that boring it's actually pretty crazy how unboring it is right now um it's just the prices of some things that are boring but wrapping it back around having all those options those unique motherboards the the different designs the custom cables everything you can think of computers with no cables now um i don't know how those are coming along yet but they're going to get there at some point, I believe. But the point is that the industry is really not that boring. It's actually pretty crazy how 
unique it is and how far it's come. So when I hear all these YouTube channels kind of seeming like they're so bored, like big guys like Jay's Two Cents, I love you Jay, if you watch this video, or any of the other big channels, just kind of like constantly being like, man, this sucks, or this sucks, and it's like, yeah, most of us know, most of us know the original 4080 pricing sucked, or I don't know how, you know, like Intel's 14th gen is the 13th gen over again, and it's uninteresting. Yes, there are uninteresting things that will happen forever, and that's because the industry is always trying to up you, upsell you on something, and it doesn't always work. So there's always going to be something that's boring that comes out, overpriced, underpriced, unique, and that's what we live for here. We're waiting for that one unique drop. We're waiting for that next 1080 Ti. Who knows, the RTX 5080 could be the next 1080 Ti. And we just don't know, and that's that's the interesting thing about the computer market. Um, going back to the YouTube channels and the negativity. Now, a lot of this comes from YouTube and YouTube's ability to monetize your content. Um, you need that clickbait, you need that, that you know, that title that that reels people in and everyone is fighting for that spot which i think in turn is causing these larger channels to post more negatively um, i made a video like this a while back it didn't do too well because i wasn't negative enough maybe but uh, i was showcasing a channel like gamers nexus how they went from very um how would you say it i guess you would say they went from very straightforward messaging being like this is a graphics card to does this graphics card catch on fire? And <laughs> it's just funny because you can see it if you just scroll through their videos going all the way back to like 2017 to, to modern day videos. They have to do that same thing. They have to, to put that negative vibe on something just for the video to do well, it feels like. Now this isn't every single time. Of course, there are videos like Jay's Two Cents doing a custom build, um, you know, and by the way, these are just the AAA tier list YouTubers. I know that there are many other really good YouTube channels that are below that, you know, not huge sub channels, but um, I'm just using them as an example because they do hit the majority of the population and when they do put out videos that are very negative um, it does affect the consumer and the person watching the video which in turn can make them feel negative about the whole industry now of course there are videos like Jay's 4060 Ti video that went out that clearly needed a negative reaction the 4060 Ti, the 4060, they were both pretty rough cards when they first came out at their price, and people had a negative reaction because they needed to have that negative reaction. Whereas there are other things that come out, and it, it just feels like they want to hate on something because it's easy to trend it, or easy to push that agenda, like, uh, I don't know, the 14900K is so boring. Like, who cares? We know it's a refresh. Intel... You'd be surprised that we're, I'm surprised that Intel gave us three generations on one motherboard. That is something new. So uh, let's be excited about that. And then don't buy the 14th gen and move on and buy the next one. If you're going to buy another Intel CPU, we don't need to spend entire YouTube videos on talking about how boring the 14th gen is. It's boring. We know. All right, moving on. So that kind of thing from the YouTube channels. Obviously, a lot of these bigger channels, they have to make their money. This is how they make money. It's how they live. And I, so in many ways, I don't blame them. Um, I'm a small channel. I make zero money. I basically make chump change. I haven't even made back one fourth of the camera that I'm using to, to make these videos. And I'm not even using it in this video. And so I guess my point is that if you're new in this industry and you're just getting into it, you know, try to stay away from all the negativity. I think a lot of these channels are forgetting about the new user, the new person coming in that's just getting into this. Even if you've only been into it for like one year, the chances of you knowing as much as somebody who got into it, say in like 2020, is just low. You know, you can't learn that much that fast. The PCs are complex. 
Windows has gotten a lot better, but Windows used to be a complete nightmare years ago. Um, some games just wouldn't even launch. There would be just like crazy things that would happen, and you'd have to spend hours and hours trying to figure out how to get something to work. Um, there are just certain games like that. And so I guess my point is, try to stay away from the negativity. If you want to buy something like a graphics card, for an example, go to a channel that does a lot of benchmarking. I'll say Hardware Unboxed. I know it's overly used. I'll say Daniel Owen. I know he's been up and coming pretty popular lately. And those two channels do a good job at doing that. Find what you want, go through their stuff, go through their videos. Um, CPUs, same kind of deal. You can find anything out there. Just be careful not to just constantly be digging into the negativity that this industry has been heavily pushing on all of us for the last couple of years.